Today I'm going to show you the PlayStation 4 app on the PC and how it's so simple to install and set up. Now what you're going to do is once you purchase the app you're going to get a setup exe file. You're going to get double click on it, you're going to go through the installation process which is fairly simple. You'll click next and it'll ask you which directory you want to go into just like any kind of setup. Since I've already have this done, I'm just going to exit out of it. Then, once it's installed, it will be located in your start menu. I put the app icon right on my desktop because we're going to be using it right now. Once you launch the PlayStation 4 app on the PC, you'll be greeted by a verification code that makes sure that you purchase the app. Once you type that in, the PlayStation app will close. You will open it again and enter your PlayStation PSN ID and then you need to add a device via remote play on your PS4. So you're going to go up to your PS4, go into settings, remote play connections you're gonna hit add device you're gonna get a pin number once you get that pin number you're going to enter that in to the application once you have done that you'll be prompted by the connect to PS4 which is very simple either if you know your PS uh, your PS4's IP address or you can scan and search or you know scan and connect so I'm just gonna scan and connect you can see here in the window it's doing its thing and BAM it's right on the screen now you can see here it works perfectly fine now you do have audio and everything like that but I cut it out for the video I don't need to have YouTube slap me with something because of audio or whatever so it just makes it a lot easier we're gonna play a fast paced game right here we're gonna do dead or alive No, the game takes that long to load. So don't think it's because of the remote play or anything like that. Oh. Alright, I turned the audio back on, so... Yeah, we know, data save, blah, blah, blah. It's really hard to play with one hand. Now, my laptop is just using Wi-Fi. And my PS4 is connected LAN, of course. Alright, wish me luck. I'm only playing with one hand.
Come on, beat me up already, girl. And I'm just using my DS3 connected right now with using DS3 tools. Let's go in the Metro. Now this is going to be a little hard. I'm probably going to die real quick though. Sorry for the camera shaking. Ooh, I got friends on. Yeah, I'm going to die. I need both analogs. I'm gonna die, like I said, probably. There's the PS4 on the TV. There it is on the laptop. And I'm gonna die. If I beat this, I'm gonna be very surprised because I'm only using one hand. Oh man, come on. There we go. I died. Now, just like all remote play, you're subjugated to oh. see uh can't use Netflix, so. No Netflix. Just like all remote play, you're only going to be able to do gameplay only. Like I said, it's very simple to use and the and set up. Let's just show you some of the control settings real quick. Now for settings for the control, you can see I have the X input, gamepad as I'm using the DS3 tools then configure the buttons to what I want them to be now if you're a PC gamer you're gonna love that because you can use the keyboard and mouse if you want to but most of us that use the PlayStation 4 are joystick orientated so 
But that's really about it. I mean, it works great. Um, I can go anywhere in the house and hook this bad boy up. Like I said, if you're in my review, if you're going to do Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi, you better have a badass router that can hold up. Because most of your $30 to $40 routers, like a Netgear or something like that, just cheap Belkin, they're not going to be able to hold up doing both devices via Wi-Fi. You'll experience quite a bit of lag if you're going to use Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. But if your PS4 is on a LAN cable and you're going to go ahead and use Wi-Fi with your laptop or your PC, like I said in my review, it works perfect just as you see here there's no lag no skip no nothing let's move it real quick and fast My kid loves this damn game. This is well worth the $10 if you're really interested in doing remote play on your PC or laptop. It's, it's definitely the way to go because I can show you right now that I could grab my Vita and it'll tell me that I have a very low connection yet everything is right here in my room same thing goes for the PlayStation TV that I won't even uh, that's just disgusting for remote play I've never had any real good luck with it even running LAN to LAN cables for it And like I said, you can tell this is definitely my kids. They got mini mouse here. Trying to work around with one hand is not fun. Ah, they smacked me. So there you go, that's a live preview of what it's what it's all about. I mean, I don't know what else you guys would expect from it. Like I said, it's limited to just like all the other devices that do remote play, as you cannot do Netflix or any kind of video streaming or nothing like that. You can go to the PlayStation Store, purchase apps, just like you would on any remote play. Yay, co-op sale and only four Vita games. Bullshit. PlayStation Now, that's garbage.
Now the picture looks a hell of a lot better than it does on my phone, of course. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, I don't need it. I don't watch Twitch, sorry. Just not my bag, baby. I don't want to join no party. Yes, you get notifications. It's it's exactly like remote play is on the Vita or the PlayStation TV. It's no different. <laughs> My kid calls this the getcha game. Because they're going to get you. <laughs> behind me or something. Yeah, there she is. And that's what she calls a getcha. Getcha. <laughs> Yeah, I know the mouse is in the screen. But there you go. Twisted's PlayStation 4 remote app on the PC. Well, laptop. It doesn't matter to me what you call them. It's a PC. So, hope this is helped you decide if you want to pick this up for yourself and no I am not a youtuber so I did my best take it easy peace out